Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, October 28th, and today is the Monday recap where we go over, you know, the various funds, where we stand on Tesla, NVIDIA, Kony, Misty, Amzi. But first, um, let's take a look at who has earnings this week. Um, you know, we'll look at bigger companies, yield max funds, non yield max funds, uh, starting with Monday before the open, obviously this morning. You know, nothing really important. Phillips, I guess. Um, and then you go to Monday after hours. They got Ford, Waste Management. Um, you know, that's pretty much it. Then Tuesday, okay, they got SoFi, PayPal, McDonald's, Pfizer, Crocs, if anyone likes that. And then Tuesday after close, Visa, AMD, Alphabet. There you go. There's two uh, yield max funds. Reddit, okay. And then you get to Wednesday. Keep in mind, Wednesday is October 30th, right? Day before Halloween. And MSTR has earnings. I don't see it. Is it not good enough to make the earnings whisper list? Uh, but anyway, on Wednesday, they got Caterpillar, ADP, Roku, Starbucks, Etsy, Coinbase, Meta, Microsoft. So th there's a whole bunch of earnings going on this week. It's crazy. And then Thursday, you got Amazon and Apple. I mean, that's going to move the market. Microsoft, uh, Uber, holy crap. This, this is a crazy week. Even Friday, ExxonMobil, Chevron. Like, this is a huge earnings week. So the market's going to shift one or the other based on some of these earnings. Especially on the Apple, Amazon after hours earnings. Oh boy. And then even Wednesday, Microsoft, Meta. But, oh, Coinbase and Robinhood too. Wow. So if any of you like earnings... Here we go. This is your week. All right. Anyway, let's get to it. Oh, yeah. FYI, I made an ulti video yesterday. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. I'll pin it to the top of the comments. It took a little decent amount of work. Um, so if you do like ulti or if, even if you hate ulti, it's just an opportunity to see what, what it looks like now versus what it looked like in the past, right? All right, so let's start with Tesla heading into this week. They have a synthetic 245. This expires on November 15th, 19 days away, and they're priced 9.87% above that. The larger synthetic position, though, 33,188 contracts. They're 5% above that as well. Again, expires in 19 trading days. Okay, so we go to the weeklies tab, and let's see what contracts are open for this week. Anything in gray, keep in mind, I already discussed, and those transactions are closed. They close them out. So they have, what, a 262.50 on every single trade here, right? So all of their contracts, all eggs in one basket. So 262.50 is the sold call price. Uh, they're 2.49% in the money. That's not good, right? That sucks. But um, again, tes Tesla was it flew, it flew high last week right um so <clears throat> you never know it could come back down but it, it, there's no signs of it but what we shall see and then they have the uh credit call spread right and that's 4.94 percent still away from helping but hopefully you know whatever it's there to offset the damage should it go that high right Obviously, you don't want to land where it at, it's at right now. It's in between the 260-250 and the 280-250. That's the dead zone, right? We don't want to land in the freaking dead zone. But right now, we're in the freaking dead zone. But we'll see how this week goes. 30-day uh, IV, 57%. Not bad. Outstanding shares, 68275000 uh, They have, a, for the weeklies, total loss is 9.3 mil. Reaction, I didn't change it because they still do need to be saved. And they can be saved because their synthetics are in very good positions. Uh, they have uh, Tesla. Oh, yeah. Forgot about the uh, declaration. Declaration is in two days. The day before uh, Halloween. Um, I did my estimate video yesterday morning. Go check that out as well if you missed it. Uh, but yeah, Tesla declares. Told Tesla and Group A declare uh, this week. Now, if we look at income, what do they got? They do have synthetic income, $15.1 million, but take out the weekly loss, that's only $5.8 So that only comes to $0.09 cents a share. So if we based it on that, 
Obviously, that's not going to work, but we'll see how it plays out uh, heading into this week. So we can't use the Rodimator, but we will use the IV. The IV shows a 58%, which would produce a 63 cent uh, distribution, which obviously much lower than usual. So people probably not going to be happy. But guys, I think the dollars, you know, it's not going to be a dollar. If they do a massive synthetic bailout, of course, it could be a dollar. But, um, you know, there's no signs that they will. Because again, the fiscal year... <coughs> ends 1031 so if they do make trades um at the same time they have so much losses uh you know even carried over from the prior year so i don't know whatever all right so let's move on what do they got so in pink no gold digger uh the orange obviously is valued much more than the pink so the synthetic value that we keep talking about to save them is 52.7 mil right now the weeklies are in a bad spot but they would take 29 mil to pay off um, so the net of that is $23 million. So obviously if we add that to the, uh, total income here, that'll help out greatly, but I don't know. We'll see what they're going to do. Total net assets of this fund, 893 mil. The NAV is 1308 trade price, 1307. All right, let's talk about NVIDIA. NVIDIA has a 130 synthetic, only one synthetic, 90,640 contracts. This synthetic price is, um, I'm sorry, this synthetic strike is 130. NVIDIA is priced way over that, 8.88% above that. But this synthetic, it expires in 54 days. They shouldn't have to touch this. But of course, as we know from history, they will if they need to. All right, everything old is in gray. So we'll look at the active, which is just one trade, one, one little grouping here. 90,640 contracts, 147 strike price, 3.86% out of the money. Uh, this is, they have a call credit spread here, or as we said, I think I mentioned yesterday, I'm going to call it the bear call spread or what, you know, whatever. Um, buy call, they did a buy call 155. So that'll help if, you know, should their sold call get blown through and then start going above the 155 obviously the damage would be offset but we don't want to end up in the dead zone there either um so the uh that part is 9.51 percent away from helping 30 day iv 60 percent outstanding shares 47 million eight hundred seventy five thousand net income 5.4 mil i gotta cut off those decimals uh distribution 11 cents daily income penny Daily yield 0.03%, annualized yield 9.3%. Yay, happy Monday. woo -hoo. Not really. Uh, Group B declares the following week in nine days on November 6th. Can't believe we're going to be in November, right? Well, the weather certainly feels like it now. All right, so here we go. Synthetic income, 92 mil. Noise. Noise. Uh, short call income, 5.4 mil. Well, at least it's income. So total net income is 98 mil. That comes to two dollars and five cents a share. If you focus on the weeklies alone, that's eleven cents. Two wins, four losses. Rodimator can't be used because the weekly income's a joke. But if we just look at the IV, sixty-one percent, that shows a dollar thirty-two. So right now, the estimate for this one is anywhere between a dollar thirty-two and two oh five. All right. So how are we doing on the holdings? Well, we know their synthetic is doing well. It's actually doing very well. Um, their weeklies are doing okay, so they're not blown through the water yet. But you know, looking at just the synthetic bailout money in the in the red, hundred and fourteen million. So they're probably just going to let that ride, let that play out, let that make some money, and they'll use it when it's needed. Right now, they don't need it. So let's take a look at the uh, assets under management, the total net assets, the whatever you want to call it, the one point two billion dollars. Uh, the NAV is 2623 and the trade price is 2623. So NVIDIA or NVIDIA, not terrible spot this week, but again, it's Monday. Anything can happen during the week. All right, then we got a synthetic 195. Um, this is, uh, you know, 33,630 contracts. This is for MSTY. They are, oh my God, 20% above that. This expires in 19 days, so you, you may you may get another massive payment. And I, as mentioned, I'm showing their earnings to be October 30th, but Earnings Whisper does not believe that is worthy, unless I missed it, unless they got a weird logo that I'm not recognizing. But 
Uh, either way, earnings is uh, Wednesday. <clears throat> All right, so what about their weeklies? Well, they kind of got scattered do here, which is good. I got a 250, a 255, and a 260, all right? Now the 250, this is only 990 contracts. That's 6.68% out of the money. Then they got a 255. This is 15,895 contracts, 8.82% out of the money. And then they got a 260, that's 16,745 contracts. That's 10.95% out of the money. So I like it. They're scattered, but the problem is they also are doing the call credit spreads. These spreads are 23 to 25% away. It is earnings week, so keep that in mind. However, anything that they state in earnings to make it jump that high, I don't, I'm not so sure about that. Um, in fact, I just have this bad feeling that their earnings is just going to you know, mess up MSTR. Um, so <clears throat> who knows, you know, we'll see what they say about their Bitcoin and all that jazz. And what else do they have to talk about? Again, when nobody even knows, most of the people that invest in Misty, I'm going to go ahead and say, they don't even know what MSTR does, but, and they probably don't even care. <laughs> it's just, you know, they're investing in <clears throat> a company who invests in Bitcoin and they're hoping that the company can basically stay above water, do make money other ways while they just hold Bitcoin on the balance sheet, right? And that's kind of how it goes. And it's a smart move by uh, MSTR. But, you know, obviously, uh, you know, what is it? The Michael Saylor guy, he's just, he seems to be a smart guy. Everyone has good things to say about him. So as long as he's running the show, fine. I mean, either way, guys, it doesn't matter. Um, so we're in here. We're in this investment basically for the IV, for the yield, right? Um, that IV is so high that they can sell calls so far out of the money that, you know, they can make a good profit. But the problem with the credit call spreads is it doesn't let them sell as far out of the money as they used to. Um, so, you know, but it is it is protection just in case. And it is earnings week. And I did say over earnings, they should have credit call spreads. But, you know, again, this gap, 15 percent gap. I'm not that's just too much. But uh, <clears throat> what whatever, we'll see. I don't want to bitch about that any more than I did on the Saturday video, 30 day IV, 101% outstanding shares, 28 million, uh, income is, that's a loss, 35 mil. So we'll move on reaction. Yes. Earnings report this week, uh, group D by the way, declares in 23 days payment information, uh, no synthetic income yet. <clears throat> Short call losses, 35 mil. So you can't use that. So we'll skip the Rodimator. And we'll go right to the IV estimate. IV estimate shows $2.35. Outstanding holdings for MSTY. What are they doing? Well, they're hanging out. No gold digger. In fact, they got a they got a rich dude and you know running the show. 161 million he's got in his pocket. He's only given his lady 26 mil. But uh, we'll see how things go after earnings. Um, she may take more of his money. You never know. <clears throat> so we'll see how the calls play out, you know, through earnings and obviously if the call credit spread was worth it or not. Um, but we'll go from there. Total net assets. Actually, first, let's look at the synthetic. Wow. Look at that bailout money. 135 million. Woohoo. All right. So assets under management, 774 mil. All right. That could hit a bill. MSTY could hit a bill. Tesla could hit a bill. Coney could hit a bill. Who's going to hit Who's going to be the second to hit a bill? The NAV is 2764. The trade price is 2762. Okay. All right. AMSI. All right. AMSI, AMSI, AMSI. What are they doing? Uh, they have a synthetic 185. Uh, their current price of Amazon is uh, 187. So they're 1.5% above their synthetic. They have one. You know, all eggs in one basket. They're selling a call, 195 strike, 3.82% out of the money. Credit, call credit spread is 10% uh, away from helping. So time will tell. That, that gap between the two is 7%. That's a pretty big gap even for Amazon. So again, that gap is the dead zone. So you don't want to lend end up in there. Total net assets or assets under management, 180 mil. The NAV is 1876. Trade price is 1877. Again, they dropped to 18 once they paid their distribution because uh, they dropped by that amount. But hopefully they do recover back to 19 because that's kind of where they've been staying. Uh, so hopefully Amazon has some good earnings. 30-day IV, 39.7%. IV estimate is um, $0.57, cents, Group D, obviously. So they just declared, but their next declaration is 1120 
So yeah, if Amazon, what do we say? Amazon's Thursday. So, I mean, I don't know. We'll see how this plays out. If earnings is great, then eh, eh, eh. Coney has earnings too. There's too much freaking earnings. Ah, uh, earnings week, very annoying. So, what's Coney doing? <clears throat> their synthetic is one ninety. Their price is two hundred five. So obviously, uh, they, they they're waiting. You know, they can use their synthetic at any time. They're seven point three three percent above their synthetic strike. So no worries there, but let's look at their calls for this week. Scattered, smart, 215, 220, 225 sold calls. 4% out of the money, 7.3% out of the money, and 9.73% out of the money. So that is good. Maybe it's not enough, but it's still, it looks pretty damn good right now. Call credit spreads in the wings, waiting. They're anywhere from 15 to 21% away from helping. Um, the largest position, though, is... 17,500 contracts, and that's unfortunately the lowest strike price, which is 215, 4.86% out of the money. So we kind of, we don't want earnings to be that great on coin, but we don't want it to be horrible, right? All right, synthetic bailout money, we're looking at 58 mil, that's a lot of money. All right, are they hitting a bill? Not not that great, but 704 uh, million, uh, 1370 is the NAV trade price, 1369. 30-day IV is 86%. Um, should be high. Well, I guess that's pretty high for earnings, but maybe it'll get higher throughout the week. IV estimate is 91 cents. Group C, and they declare on November 13th. So that is the update on the Monday recap. Again, all we do in this video, we recap. We give a quick recap of where we stand heading into this week. All right? Obviously, this week is busy. It's earnings. It's Halloween. It's a full freaking work week, right? If you guys have kids, you know how busy freaking Halloween is, right? You got to go to work all day. You got to somehow try to get home just in time so they get trick-or-treating. And then, and then, and then, here we go. And then you got to do your spreadsheets, right? No, that's just me. All right, so let's look at the um, the market watch, the pre-market, the fun. All right, so Tesla, well, everything looked green last I checked. Tesla's still green, not by much. Everything else is more green, but uh, this is as of 5.38 a.m. Time is flying already. Good God, I cannot get up this morning. But Tesla is up 0.29%. It's at 269. Tesla is up 0.54%. It's at 1314. I need, uh, I need um, Tesla to go down this week. Sorry, guys. NVIDIA is up 1.26%. It's at 143.33. NVIDIA is up 1.18%. It's at 26.54. Coin is up 2.37%. It's at 20990. Kony is up 2.19%. It's at 1399. Uh, MSTR is up 2.8%. It's at 24089. MSTY is up 2.75%. It's at 2838. TSLL is up 0.65%. It's at 1389. TNA is up. 1.86%, it's at 4335. AMDY is up 1.57%, it's at 1357. AMZY is up 1.12%, it's at 1898. Oh God, a lot of green. Uh, Bitcoin is up 0.64%, 68,185. Bitex is up, wow, 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 wow. How is that? If Bitcoin's up 0.64, how is 2x Bitcoin up 4.55? I don't know, man. Sometimes these leveraged funds are a little tricky, but either way, BitX is up 4.55%. It's at 32.19. SOXL is up, wow, 3.26%. It's at 36.43. So that's it, guys. That is the Monday recap. Again, pretty quick video for the Monday recap. You know, we don't we don't we don't BS around on the Mondays, right? We know we got a busy day ahead. We got work. All we want to know is where we stand heading into the week, and do we look good? Um, and some of you guys own some of these funds. Some of you don't own any, and you still watch. And believe me, thank you very much for that. But as you know, this <clears throat> this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. This video is for fun and entertainment. So hopefully, at fun, hopefully you're entertained. If not, we will try again tomorrow. On the normal daily update, we'll see what trades they make today, if any. 
Hopefully none. That'd be nice. Give me a break. Actually, hopefully none on Halloween because I'm not going to be home until freaking late. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but of course, ha Halloween is earnings and <laughs> there may not be no, no earnings. Five recap. Who, who the hell knows? But <clears throat> if you enjoy this content, please hit the like button. Go check out the videos I made over the weekend. I made a lot of them. I kind of busted my ass while still being away. Um, just to, you know, I'm having fun with this. I'm keeping busy, clearly. Uh, but yeah, go check that out. I'll, I'll pin ulti video because I did spend a lot of time, uh, you know, at, mostly in the car on the ride home as my wife drove us home. But uh, go check out ulti. I think you'll like it. Even if you hate ulti, it, it might be worth a, worth a look. But um, And if you do, either way, let me know what you guys think of ulti. And let me know what you guys think of earnings this week um do you think we're uh it's going to be good news or bad news i feel like the market's been so green that the expectation is way too high so who knows you know there could be just as these earnings come out maybe it'll be red week i'm hoping for some red to be honest so what are you guys hoping for all right guys that's all i got for today i think i need a keyword though right keyword um <clears throat> For, so for keyword for today, um, it, you know, pretty much it's cold out. So I'm just going to say the keyword today is I'm freezing my ass off. So um, the garage, as you know, I record in the garage. And normally, you know, I'm sweating my ass off. But now we're in between seasons and it's about to get cold as hell. Should I bring a little heater in here? I probably should. I don't know. But anyway, if you made it this far in the video and you want to prove it, all you have to do is say the key word. And the key word for today's video that you have to comment down below is I am freezing my ass off. And again, it's not even that cold yet. It's about, you know, in New Jersey, um, it's probably cold for you Florida people. But uh, yeah, man, it's uh, it's annoying. Um, but it is what it is. It's It's time. It's time. Summer's over. Time to move on. But uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Later.